Hi guys, it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Today I thought I would give you a close-up of my camera that I got for Christmas. It is a PowerShot SX420 IS camera. Um, my husband bought it for me so that I could use it to, to film. And he also got me a, um, a case to put it in and he got a ring light for me to use with it. Unfortunately, <laughs> I guess when he was doing his research, he did not realize that the ring light is for um, a different type of camera. So I won't actually be able to use it with the, the smaller camera that he, he got me. But I will be able to use it on my DSL R camera that I, that I own, that I use to, to do pictures with. So um, this is the box that the camera came in. Um, it also came with, let's see, of course it came with the, um, the, the camera guide and of course your warranty information and registration information. Uh, also it came with a battery charger, a battery, and he also brought me a Let's see, what size is it? He brought me a 16 gigabyte um, disc. And what else is in the bag? And actually, that's all that came with it. Now, the difference in this camera and my regular uh, DSLR camera is I actually let me get my other camera so this is my larger camera that I use for taking pictures with my husband got this for me maybe four or five Christmases ago um, one of my friends had made me a C button and so I keep that on there <laughs> I keep my um, extra disc in here in this little box this was something I saw on another person's um, it was either a video or a blog when Disney had all of the little target items they had the little cup coolers but I use it to like keep my extra lens in so that um, it has a little bit of cushion so I have two lens I have one in the Minnie Mouse lens and I have the other one in a Mickey Mouse lens. And then this is my camera. This is a EOS Rebel T5 and that's the case on it and it came with a strap and it is in red. I think my husband was trying to get, get me red to go with you know dis the Disney theme. and. This I am able, because it has this on the top, I will be able to use my, I will be able to use my new ring light with this. So this is the size of that particular camera. So now let me show you the new camera that he got um, me. Oops. So this is the size, this is the new camera and see the size difference. So. I'm trying to imagine taking this to the park and videotaping with it <laughs> or taking this to the park and videotaping with it. <laughs> Big difference. Um, the only thing that this camera doesn't have that I know that most vloggers have, it doesn't have a screen that pops out. The screen is on the back of the camera. So that would probably would be one thing that I would change if I could change anything about the camera but I like the weight of the camera I like that it's small but mostly what I like about this camera and I understand why he got me this particular camera it has Bluetooth capabilities so that was the reason why he uh, gave me this for Christmas uh, some of you may not know my husband is a pastor I am a minister and we right now are recording our sermons on our phones 
for services on Sunday because we are we are not back in the building and so uh, we had started to have too many videos between me doing YouTube and then us doing church videos like Bible study and doing Sunday service uh, videos that it was starting to really do a number on our phones and so this was what he thought would be a substitution for that and also maybe to help me with improving my YouTube channel. Now I, I have taken a few pictures with it because of course it is a camera you can take pictures with it. I've taken pictures with it and I have done a few video tests with it. Hi guys it's Cindy aka Disney Queen. Welcome back to my channel. I am filming on my new camera. So this is technically a test to see how we look. Um, I'm not quite sure about the quality in comparison to my iPhone, which is saying a lot. Um, but I think for what we want to do with it, which is basically here around the house and to give our phones a break and to be able to then transfer it to my phone so that I can so that I can edit it and then put it up on our Facebook page. I think it'll be perfect for that. I'm still learning the I'm still learning how to use the software. It has an app that you actually upload onto your phone so that you can transfer it to your phone or you can transfer it to your iPad so that you can um, then edit it. Y'all y'all pray for me because I technology is not my best friend unless I have been doing it for a long period of time and I've gone through the motions. I'm like one of those visual people so I have to like continuously do it for a period of time until it becomes comfortable f for me and then from there I can move forward. So, But I do like it. I don't want you to think I don't like it. I do like it. I love the weight of it. It's not too large. I When we went to Disney three years ago I had an even smaller Canon camera. We're Canon camera people. I had an even smaller Canon and I loved the weight of it because it was small, but I didn't like the quality of the video. So I feel like this is still a step up from that. Um, it has a cap that attaches and it is on a string so I'm not going to lose it. It does have a place where you can attach like a little tripod. The buttons on it are fairly easy to use. Basically what I did was I went online, I looked at some YouTube videos about this specific camera and that's how I'm learning how to use it. I probably wouldn't use it to necessarily do photographs because I do have my other camera for that. Um, I still like the convenience of editing and filming on one thing, which is my phone. Uh, we're both looking at eventually upgrading our phones. And I think that will definitely determine whether or not, you know, I will st stick to a camera or if I'll stick to my phone. Uh, but I'm looking forward to just kind of playing with it and learning it and, my goal for this year is definitely to do a few more videos uh, and for the quality of my videos to be a little bit better. At some point, I would like to be able to add music to my videos. It's just not in the budget right now for me to um, get epic sound. Uh, I learned over Christmas, if you want to have extra music, then you, you better make sure that you have everything in place. Uh, for that because one a couple of my videos got hit my daughter thought she was doing me a favor and she had done the um, the intro for my Christmas videos and we got hit with a copyright um, because I don't have epic sound but she has epic sound so she thought it was okay lesson learned uh, so if you're new to YouTube you know check all of that stuff out um, I had always just used the music on my phone but I wanted to like you know take it up a notch and yeah lesson learned so you might have noticed halfway through my 12 days of Christmas that I changed my intro music back to some of my regular music because it's free music that I could use so 
I'm really looking forward to using this. Uh, I'm going to keep you posted. And when I finally do put my first video up with the camera, you'll have to let me know what you think of it. You know, what was your thoughts on the quality of it? Can you hear? I will say that is one more thing. It does not have a place where you can put a mic. So I have not tested out the quality of the sound yet. Um, and because even on my phone, I have a little mini mic on my phone that I use for when I record. And I definitely can tell the difference from when I record with a mic and when I don't. So we shall see how that goes. Um, as far as the light, let me show you that. So this is called the LED ring flash. And this was the box that it came in. And basically, this is what you do with it, which is why I know I can use it on my other camera. And it comes with... This piece don't ask me what it is <laughs> it comes with this part and it's attached to the ring light and the ring light you basically would put on your lens on your camera and then this part of the flash you would attach well, you know what I guess I should be checking to see if I can even attach it to this camera it took me a minute to figure out how to put it on. So I'm, I was thinking that you put this part towards the front, but actually you attach it, you see, to the back. <laughs> it took me a minute. So basically it comes with a bunch of different rings to make it a ring, I guess adapters to make it possible for you to put it on your lens. So I put it on my lens. And then after you find the adapter, then you can um add the ring light to your camera so oh my gosh i feel like a professional and i don't have a clue as to what i'm doing <laughs> but basically that's it so um i would have to charge it up i haven't charged it up um but yeah not bad i could actually record with this but it doesn't have Wi-Fi capabilities, so I would have to do my um, uh, editing on a computer. Uh, but this would be good for taking pictures, and this would be good for when you want to do, um, like, take pictures of products or something. So I can still use it. <laughs> he'll be happy to hear that, but he'll be disappointed to know that it will not fit um, my camera that he bought bought me but it does fit this one so I'm, I'm still happy because I did not have a flash for this so now I have a flash okay hey so that that is all of the components to my new camera it doesn't have a lot of buttons like it has a on and off button which is the power button here it has the button where you hit to take the picture or um, start your video. And then it has, on the back, it has the view screen. I, like I said, I think that's the only thing I wish that the view screen was one that popped up or popped out. Um, that is the Wi-Fi connection, um, your menu button, your button to uh it's the arrow so you can scroll through the pictures or the video it has an automatic button it has the camera button and then it of course it has the regular uh function buttons um, i'm sure there's a more professional name for it but again i'm not a professional i'm only telling you about what it is like for me it does have a flash that will pop up and it's HD 42X optical zoom lens. So that is my new camera for Christmas that I got. And I am excited about trying it out. I love the idea of being able to transfer directly from my camera to a computer or to my phone or to my iPad. So kudos for my husband for doing that because 
if the quality of the video is as good as the quality of my phone, then I will be glad to switch uh, to using the camera more. So you have to stay tuned to see if any videos come out using my new camera. I know this was a odd video, a little different, but I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have um, a specific camera that you like, or if you have like some suggestions, um, some tips for a new user, uh, please leave some comments below because I haven't a clue what I'm doing and I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. But again, I'm excited to use my new camera. So until I see you the next time, have a blessed day. <laughs> Bye.